Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to be talking all about the perfect haircuts for wavy and curly hair. Um, and if you are new to my channel, you might be thinking, why is this girl with her hair in a bun telling me how to cut my curly hair? I too have wavy curls. Um, my hair just wasn't cooperating today. Maybe you can relate to that. If you have not already subscribed, please be sure to do so. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Today we're going to be talking all about the perfect haircut for wavy and curly hair, uh, what to tell your stylist, different ways of cutting your hair, all that jazz. So we're just gonna go ahead and begin. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of pictures of my hair, the back of my hair, the front of my hair, the side of my hair, so that you can see exactly what type of cut I have. Um, when I went to my stylist, I asked for uh, long layers throughout my hair and a little bit of shorter face framing layers in the front so that I can get that volume um, in the front of my hair. I really like big volume in my hair. My hair is still not even at the like level of volume that I want it to be. I want it to be bigger than life, honey. So um, next time I go, I'm gonna ask for even shorter layers in my hair. I'm just kind of slowly working towards the, the goal haircut that I have in mind for myself. Um, but I'm scared sometimes, you know? I never want to be like, just go crazy, chop it up, girl, because hairstylists love to cut your hair, y'all. So be careful when you go to the salon, especially if your stylist is not familiar with cutting wavy and curly hair. Um, I would suggest sitting down with your hairstylist for like five to 10 minutes before your appointment and really explaining your hair type, showing them pictures of exactly what you have in mind. Um, when I went to get my hair cut in the very beginning with my stylist, I showed her exactly what I had in mind. I showed her pictures of the back of the person's hair, the front of the person's hair, everything, so that it was very, very clear the haircut that I was going for. Um, another thing to note to your hairstylist is that your hair will shrink up a little bit when it is dry. So if you tell your hairstylist to cut an inch of your hair when it is dry and there's a spring factor involved, it could shrink up and it might look like you cut two inches. Um, so really explain that to your hairdresser. Know your hair type very well. Um, and be aware of the level of spring in your hair so that you know how much to actually tell your hairdresser to cut when your hair is wet. So that leads me into wet versus dry haircuts. Um, they're both fine in my opinion. The you know, holy grail of wavy and curly haircuts is of course the curl by curl dry method which was created by the Divachon Salon at Diva Curl. Um, they have a couple Divachon Salons in the United States and then Certain salons across America are Diva Cut certified. Um, I will leave all the information and links for that down below. But essentially what they do is cut your hair wave by wave or curl by curl. Um, so they really cut your hair where it lives naturally um, so that they can see exactly what it's gonna look like when it's dry. There's no surprises when your hair is dry that it's shorter than you expected. And often many of us have different waves and curl patterns on our heads. I, for instance, have lots of 2B waves and I have a couple random 3A curls in my hair. So um, if I were to get a dry cut, that stylist could really see, okay, this, this is a wave, a very clear wave. I'm gonna cut this this much. This is a curl. I'm gonna cut this one less um, because this, this curl is gonna spring up more. That way they can get a really great feel for your different hair patterns and your hair. Um, but I personally get my hair cut wet um, and you know I'm happy with how my hair turns out I love it personally I will leave my hairstyle information in the description box down below she lives in Atlanta Georgia um, for those of you who are wondering I get asked a lot of a lot a lot a lot about her so be sure to check her out down below but um, she does an absolutely wonderful job. My hair turns out beautiful every time, and she does cut my hair wet. So it is possible to get a wonderful, beautiful cut on wet hair. So don't be alarmed if there isn't a salon near you that can cut your hair um, curl by curl when it is dry. I think the biggest thing when cutting your hair wet with a new stylist would be just to really explain your hair type, show them pictures of what your hair looks like uh, dry. Be sure to come in with your hair natural. I would never come into um, my hairdresser in the beginning with my hair straight um, because then she would not have a good idea of how my hair was going to turn out in the end. So really show your hairdresser your natural hair type and texture so that they have a better understanding of your curl pattern. 
My biggest tips and recommendations for achieving that great volume and definition in your hair is adding layers to your hair. I know that it can be scary to cut your hair. I used to have my hair cut all one length because my hair was just like precious and I didn't want to cut it, but I'm telling you it is so worth it. Um, your hair will look fuller, more voluminous, and um, just a lot more defined as well. Especially adding some more layers in your face, in the front of your face, to really frame your face and lift your hair up so you can get that fabulous volume. It's so important, and I just, I highly, highly recommend it to you guys. If you're scared, just go for it. Don't get crazy. Don't get crazy, but go for it. So what I personally recommend to you guys for my favorite cut on waving curly hair is to get long layers throughout your hair, not just in the front, but in the back as well. Um, when you put all your hair to the back, you want it to have nice volume and depth as well. You don't want it to be very flat. Um, having no layers to your hair will kind of give you that triangle head um, that curly girls are so stereotypically known for and that's never flattering it's called triangle head for a reason so let's go ahead and break that stereotype and bring out the volume and the layers baby boo one last thing that i wanted to mention to you guys um, i have heard from a couple of y'all that you got your hair cut and they used a razor and i personally would never recommend getting your hair cut with a razor if you have textured hair of any kind um this can lead to serious serious frizz and damage to your hair. Um, I've seen pictures that girls have sent me and it breaks my heart. Um, do not, if they bring a razor anywhere near your hair, say no thank you and leave immediately <laughs> because they do not know what they're doing to your hair. Um, but if you are getting your hair cut with a razor currently and you're having great results, hey, more power to you. Um, but from what I have seen, that tends to be a cause to frizz and leads to some damaged hair. So I would not recommend it personally, and I think that that's just something to be aware of. All right, guys, I think that that is everything. I will leave my hairdresser's information down below, uh, the Diva Curl uh, certified salons down below, all the information in the description box, so be sure to check that out. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just get so, so many questions about what I tell my hairstylist, um, what what type of haircut I have. So get out there and get your fresh new haircut as we head into the next season. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.